to another episode of Rhapsody of Realities. If you're new here, we welcome you in Jesus' name. You are not here by chance. Rhapsody of Realities is written by our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, and it's the number one daily devotional in the world. It's available in 8,000 over languages, and it's also now available in Braille and audio. You can tune in for a new episode every day. Praise God. Now that you're born again, have you given a thought about how you should live the kingdom life? For example, if you were born in the United Kingdom, there is a way of living. It's different from the traditions and culture of those who are in Japan. So what is the kingdom life and how do we ought to live? You'll find the answer in today's article titled, A Practice for Us. Let's take a look at the theme scripture together. Today's theme scripture is taken from John chapter 1, verse 18, and it says, No man hath seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. The word declared in our opening verse is from the Greek exegomai, and it means to rehearse or unfold. So, what the verse is saying is that Jesus rehearsed divinity to us how he lived and the things he did, as recorded in the scriptures, was a practice for us to see and know how to live the life of the kingdom. No wonder the Bible says he has given us an example that we should follow his steps. In 1 Peter 2, verse 21, the Bible says, For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Jesus rehearsed the God life to us. He rehearsed righteousness to us. He came to live before us so that we could know what God is like. In John chapter 1 verse 14, the Bible says, And the Word was made, became flesh, and dwelt among us. And we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. He said in John chapter 14 verse 9, He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. Amazing words. God wants you to have the same consciousness. He wants you to think and talk like Jesus. How much of the person and character of Jesus is expressed in and through you? In Ephesians chapter 5 verses 1 to 2, the Bible says, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savour. The word followers is from the Greek mimites, meaning to be an imitator, to copy another. The only reason we can imitate God is because we've seen him in Jesus Christ. Jesus came to unveil him. For example, we often talk about how God loves us, but we couldn't describe that love until we see Jesus in action. Now, we can walk in love as Christ also loved us. Christ showed us how to practice God's love. Hallelujah! Don't you just love God's word? It's a manual for life of righteousness. God never leaves us in uncertainty. He brought us into this kingdom and showed us the way to live. Hallelujah. Now, let's take this prayer together. You can say, I walk in love and righteousness and display the character of Christ to my world. I think, talk, and act like Jesus, expressing the God life in me and impacting my world with the divine nature of God in me. In Jesus' name, Amen. Praise the Lord. Remember to take our time to further study today's topic. It's important as a child of God to live by His words so that we can enjoy the blessings God intended for us. 
You can read 1 John chapter 4 verse 17, John chapter 13 verse 15, 1 Corinthians 11 verse 1, and 1 John chapter 2 verse 6. We have come to the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and God bless you. received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Rhapsody of realities Giving your life a meaning every day My life made perfect with Rhapsody